Hello friends, so welcome. In this video now I'm going to work with a single movie. So here, if, if we go there, yeah, we show the movie details. And if we don't have the movie, so for example, with, the, with this ID we don't have in our database, hit enter, we navigate to the not found. Good. But all the logic, so if I open this, all the logic is done in the movie details view. So we need to move the logic in our store because we have created the store here. So let's open the movie details. And first of all, uh, we have use router here because we say router push. And I'm going to copy what we have inside here or cut and move in our uh, store. Here in the actions, I'm going to create a new one, an async action. And I'm going to say get single movie. Here we need the ID. So I'm going to add the ID here and let's add what we have copy from there we say const result it's going to be able with await and fetch here we need to add the id we get inside here and then if the result is 404 we say router push to the not found but we don't have the router here and let's comment this for now and then we say const response await with result.json and assign the query movie we had here with the response, but we don't have the query movie here. So let's create a new state. And I'm going to say a single movie. We can say query movie, but I'm going to say single movie here. And I'm going to assign with an empty object for now. And now here I'm going to say this dot single movie is going to be equal with the response. And also for the loading, I'm going to say this dot is loading is going to be false. And here I'm going to start the loading. So I'm going to say this dot is loading to be true. Okay. Now let's save this and let's go in the movie details. Here we have this unmounted. We need to get the store and call this async get single movie method action. So if we come here, we have imported the ref and now we don't need the ref because we don't need to add the query movie and is loading here. So remove them. On mount that we need because we are going to call the get single movie. So let's add that. We don't need the user router now. So let's also remove the user router. And I think we are okay. Now let's import the use movie store. Okay. And then I'm going to create a constant here. Say movies store is going to be equal with the use movies store. So we get the movie store object. And now here, let's say await movie store dot get single movie. And we need to add the ID. And we have that in the props here, as you can see, ID. And let's say props dot ID like this. And if I save now, uh, we need also, because here we say query movie, but we need to get the single movie from here and add a poster title and what we have. 
So let's, uh, and also for the loading, we have the movie store and we can say query movie and select what we have here and replace with the movies store dot single movie like this okay save and also for the is loading now we need to say movie store is loading so movies store dot is loading save go back and let's refresh I'm going to open also the inspect elements to see if we have any error. So let's click to this one. We don't have error and we show that movie detail. Very good. Go back. Show this one. Go back. Uh, let's show this one. Everything okay. Now one thing we don't have done yet is returning if we don't have that. Uh, movie so if I add here for the four and yeah we just don't have that movie not found but we stay here in the page with no details and we had this thing here but if I import the router and we cannot use the router here so I'm going to show you if I import the use router from view router and let's create a constant here to get the object of the router so go const router equal with use router we cannot not get that in here so if i uncomment and if i save hit enter yeah we have uh, cannot read properties of undefined reading push and yeah we see here is loading because this is not working now good if you go to the pina documentation and we have uh, adding a new external property in the documentation and here we have an example for the router we need also to import the mark raw from the view and say pina use store and say store dot router mark raw router so if i copy this and add this now inside the main js in here so we create consent for pina and i'm after that, I'm going to say pina use store and now add the store router. We also have imported here the router and we say make our marker our router. And with that, now if we go in the store, we don't need to import the use router. Remove that and down there we just can say this we access the router by saying this dot router push save and come here and refresh mark ah yeah we need to import also the mark row from the view dot but mark row save and as we can see now we navigate to the not found so let's go back let's clear this and let's go to the doctor strange good but if i type something we don't have enter yeah we navigate to the not found so this is how we can use the router inside the store okay that's it about uh, this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best